Hi, it's Denise with Ladybug Stampin', and today we're going to be making a card for the September 25th Stamp uh, Christmas Challenge Stampathon 2018. And this month's challenge is to create a card that is a pop-up card. And so I know I'm a few I'm a few days late or five days late. It's been a busy month for me, both professionally and family wise and stampin up wise so i know i'm a little bit late but here it is so this is my version of a pop-up card and this is using our festive farmhouse um stamp set uh, or suite this is the stamp set isn't that cute this is also going to be my september monthly craft kit that the video will be posting tomorrow so be watch out for that and then these are the dies that go with it uh, so we were each the, uh, each of us was to create a version of a pop-up card pop-up card and I wanted to create this so this says happy Christmas wishes and then when you open it up it pops up now you can't see so I'm gonna try like that so I'm gonna try to open it like this sideways and see if it pops up right and that's what it looks like so you've got your house it's decorated with a little wreath your tree has no leaves because there's snow in the background and of course you've got your little red truck that's very popular and then on the ground here I've got some grass like you can see and then it looks like some snow on the ground because it's still snowing see um, and also well maybe they cleared the way for the Christmas tree <laughs> so we are gonna create this today so let's get started the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp out some of our images we're gonna stamp out the the house, the car, the truck, and the tree, and the wreath using our Memento Tuxedo Black ink because we will be using Stampin' Blends to color it in, okay? So we're gonna get our ink out, and we're gonna get our truck, and we're gonna ink up our truck, and I just got ink on my finger. I really try not to do that, you know? And I'm just gonna try to do it just like this on the side. I've just got some uh, scrap of Whisper White here and then we're going to get out our tree it never fails look right there it's like i don't know how i'm gonna put this right here i think and then our let's get our wreath out and we'll just stamp it right there and also, we're going to be using some of the DSP from the first Farmhouse Pack. And this is like a wood grain. And I thought this would be really cool for the house. Now, be careful on your wood grain because it kind of goes light, light to dark. And I've got some of the light and my grain is going down. Now, you could have it going that way too, but you just want to make sure it's going one way. So, we're going to stamp this with the, use this with the house. Make sure that's good up and neat. And you're just gonna place it down on here and ink it up. I like to make, let it make contact with the paper. All right. We're going to ink up our sentiments. And we have the happy Christmas wishes here, which we're gonna punch out in the, the wishing you a season full of peace on the Merry Christmas with some uh, scrap of Whisper White as well. With the sentiments, we need, we're gonna ink it up twice. We're gonna be using Cherry Cobbler and Mossy Meadow, which coordinates with the DSP pack. So we're gonna open up our cherry cobbler and we're gonna ink up our sentiment. And you need two of these. So we're gonna put this one in the center of a piece of Whisper White scrap. And we're gonna stamp it in the mossy meadow. We're just stamping over, because I really only need the Merry Christmas part, the Merry Christmas part, okay? Stamp off our stamp. Stamp up our Merry Christmas wishes in wisp our cherry cobbler. And we'll stamp on this side here. And then clean this. And then we're gonna stamp in the mossy meadow. And I'll stamp over here because again I'm just gonna be cutting out Christmas. Okay. With our uh Merry Christmas, the big one. We're gonna use our two and a quarter inch punch and we're gonna punch this out. And then with the smaller sentiment, the Happy Christmas Wishes, we're gonna use our um, tailored tag punch and we're gonna punch this out as well. And you wanna make sure it's kind of even in the middle. Okay, 
And then on the parts where we stamped in Mossy Meadow, we're actually going to trim off the Christmas, the Christmas part on this one here. So we're just gonna cut as close to the word as possible. It's a straight line. trim this in a minute. Okay, so we're going to cut up straight line close to the S and then close to the C. So you have just the Christmas. And this is actually going to go right here over this. We'll adhere it to that. Then on this, we just want the Merry Christmas. And we're going to kind of do kind of like a bubble word. You remember that when you, you were in school? I don't know if some of you may. Um, how you kind of drew a line around your name. To create like a bubble so we're going to just kind of go with the letters and we're just going to kind of make them go curve kind of close together Tuck this off. and if you'll just hold your scissors and just move your cardstock it'll work a lot better of course now you have to move up your scissors sometimes Okay, and then it should look like this. And then this will go right over the top of that. So I've colored in the house using my blends. You colored in the tree and the wreath in my truck. Now we have a piece of balmy blue here, and this is cut at five by three, five inches by three inches, and all the measurements will be on my um, blog post. But this is gonna be for our sky. And we're actually gonna use our little snow stamp right here and our Whisper White Craft Stampin' Pad. Oh, it's been a minute since I've opened up these ones, can you tell? And I'm just gonna add some snow to this scene. Okay, it doesn't have to be too heavy. I've got it. It'll dry a little bit when it drops. I mean, it'll fade just a little bit when it dries, but it'll still be on there. So now we have all our stamping done, so we'll put that to the side. And now we're going to create the card. Okay, so to create the card, I need a card base, which this is a cherry cobbler, and this is cut at eight and a half by five and a half, and we will be scoring this at four and a quarter to make our card front, our card base. Of course, I just fold it in half. Use your foam folder. And then on our inside of our card for our pop-up portion, which is this is gonna be this portion right here, we're going to use Whisper White, and this is cut at eight and a quarter by five and a quarter, and this is scored at four and an eighth, or again, fold it in half. Okay, make sure that crease is tight. Now we're going to use our ruler to create this pop-up portion. Now what I want to do is I want to mark, make a little tick mark using my pencil. And we're going to go from the crease edge right here to the bottom. We're going to go about an inch. So I want to go down here use this ruler. This T ruler is perfect for this. So we're gonna make a, a tick mark down here at this inch, and then we're gonna go down here and make this tick mark. Then we're gonna turn our card to the side, use our ruler up this way, and we're gonna line up our ruler with the little tick marks, and we're gonna draw. use our pencil and we're gonna draw a line Make sure that's pretty even. I'm just gonna, yeah. Okay, so you create a line like this. Looks like this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ruler and I need to make six cuts. And so I'm gonna space them out about every three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna start at three quarters of an inch and then I'm gonna move to, see, 
three quarters, uh, one and a half, two and a quarter, three inches, three and three quarters, and four and a half. And then I'm just gonna use my ruler to create lines. This is what we're gonna use to cut with. And the reason why I'm doing this part right here is because when I tried to cut just every other one, it, they weren't that straight. So for me, I needed this to be really straight for it to work. If they're a little off, it's okay. Just as long as there's six about equal lines. Well, for me, equal three, six equal lines. So it looks like this. Now this is, they're not gonna see this because this is inside the card. Using your paper snips, we're gonna cut along the line up to that one inch mark. And you want it to go all the way to that line. Try and make sure it doesn't go up above that line, but you definitely want it to go to the line. chairs moving okay so now we have looks like this okay now we're going to open our card up and you've got these little line these like this so you're going to take every other one starting with the second one and you're going to push in so push in that one and I just use my finger kind of push in like this now using this fold your card over whoops Push in, push out, push in, push out, push in. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna take this, and I don't know if you guys can see, but right here, we're gonna use our finger, and we are going to push this over, okay? And create like a little crease with our finger. So, just like this. We're gonna do the same one with the second one. Create a little crease. We're gonna come back with our bone folder. This is just to get it started. And then we're gonna turn it on this side and we're gonna do the same thing. So push it in, use your finger right at that fold line just to kind of burn it or burnish it a little bit. So it kind of looks like this. Now we can close our card, okay? We're gonna use our bone folder. And I'm just gonna open this a little bit and crease my lines really good. Or burnish, burnish them, okay? I could even go out here. Again, nobody's gonna see the, the in, outside of this card. We're gonna turn it over. We're gonna do the same thing, because you want these to be really good and creep, burnished, okay? That's gonna help with the pop-up. Okay, there we go. And that's what it should look like for this particular card, for this particular pop-up design. All right, now we're gonna take our balmy blue that we inked up and we are going to add some adhesive other side Denise I almost put it on the snow <clears throat> and we're going to use this this is going to be the top and we're just going to place this down and we're going to make it about even if it doesn't go all the way it's fine but you want about you want the you know the around here to be kind of fairly even so for our grass, we're gonna use Mossy Meadow, and this is cut at five by three inches as well. We're gonna lay this the same way. Uh-oh, careful there, Denise. Now let me say this: when you want to make sure that the you know sides around here are pretty even, but you also want to make sure you don't go too close or fairly close. You can see kind of how I did that, fairly close to there. Now using our framelits from this from the suite, we are going to run through and cut all these out, all our stamped images out, except for this one we punched. Our images that we stamped earlier and colored in and including we're going to create 
make two fences using the fence die, okay? So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. So I've run out and I've cut out my house, my tree, my truck, and my little wreath, and I have create, I cut out two of the fences. Look, isn't that cute? I love that fence. And I actually create, uh, cut just a little bit of an end piece because um, my card, this is not long enough for my card front. And so we'll be um, cutting this to make this match, but it will go behind the tree, the house, I mean, so you won't see it. All right, also, we need to create our snow banks. There's this awesome little um, thinlet or framelet that's in here. It just looks, it's like this looks like a little line, <laughs> but that's for our snow bank. So I'm gonna show you one and then I'm gonna run out another one. Now these are cut out. You need two pieces of Whisper White that are cut at four and a half by, or one and a half inches by five inches. And then you're gonna need a two inch by five inch piece. And this is what it, this is how it looks when it comes out. And we're gonna be adding that to our backdrop in our grass. So I need to go and run it two more times on the one inch and two inch piece. Now, let me say this, when you run this through there, you'll see on the back right here, it's got, here's the cut line right here. You want this to be towards the top. So when I place it on my big shot, on my platform, I'm gonna lay it down like this where the cut edge is right here on the bottom, okay? So I'm gonna run that through there and I'll be right back. Very quickly, I wanted to kind of show you how I have my, my um, framelit right here. I have it starting up here, but then I kind of curved it down to go towards the bottom. And I did use a piece of washi tape to kind of hold it. Now, when you take this off, you'll see that it did not cut that um, complete five inch mark. So just use your paper snips and come through and clip it. And you can round it at the edge if you want, and that's what it should look like. Okay, I also did the bigger one here. Now I wanna show you something on this, this two inch piece. <clears throat> the two inch piece is gonna, I'm gonna lay it against this. But if you notice, when I lay it down, the snow looks like this. Now you can leave, you can, you can have it like that if you want, or you can turn it around. Now remember, if you turn it around, it's gonna have this little edge here where it's been cut. I just used my fingers it kind of reminds me of snow a little bit. Like a little froze, the frozen part of the snow. But I just rolled my fingers like this to kind of flatten it out a little bit. And it's okay since it's snow. And I'm gonna turn it around like this so I've got the hill going like this, going down this way and the hill going down this way, okay? So how, do, how am I gonna attach that? I'm actually gonna place some adhesive on our little cut out pieces right here. So I'm just gonna take some adhesive. I put two strips starting from the crease down here towards the green. And I'm going to take our two inch and I'm going to just lay it right against that Mossy Meadow with just a little bit of a gap. Okay. Just a little bit of a gap. Let's see if that worked. And push your finger, push them back out. This needs training. Remember, it's gonna take some training. Okay, that's too close. Let's see, this one down here is too close. Since this is a snail, I'm able to move it. Another way to do this is to lift your card up like this and place it like this when you'd hear it, okay? which is what I should have done on this one, but I didn't. <laughs> I did on the other ones, but I didn't on this one. Okay, train it back. I'm just gonna fold it down. We're gonna use our bone folder again, kind of just to help with the crease in. Okay, all right. Then we're gonna take our one of our uh, one and a half inch pieces and make sure the heel's this way and not coming over this way. And we're just gonna adhere, put some pieces on the end. 
And we're going to align the bottom of this with the bottom of the balmy blue piece. If it shows a little bit, it's okay. Don't worry. All right, and then we're going to take our second one and a half inch piece. We're going to place it down here. And this one, for some reason, I don't know if I had this cut differently, the, the mossy meadow, but it leaves a little bit of a green line, which I'm cool with that. Okay, there you go. So there, so far, this is what it looks like. I'm going to use our silicone mat to adhere the uh, adhesive to the fence because I'm just going to take my snail and I'm just going to run a little line right through here just like that so to here it's okay you won't really be able to see it with everything behind it in front of it and I'm going to line this up right with the snow just a little bit above it I'll just show you just a little bit above the snow, the um, Whisper White piece. Not right on the cut edge. And then we're gonna take our small piece here and we're just gonna go towards, well, no, let's do this first. We're gonna line it up right here. And I, I know that I need to cut it right about here inside that line. So we're just gonna trim it just like this and just like just trim it like that so then you end up with this little bee piece like this okay now I'll put a little adhesive on here now I'm gonna line it up on this side of the snow bank because you won't again you won't be able to see this behind this because of the house I just want to make sure that the end of the fence lines up with my whisper white cut piece now we're gonna take some dimensionals and put on the back of the house and we're actually going to go up twice. We're going to just going to, I'm just going to put them, oops, towards the bottom. And a little, just a couple right here, like five, like that. I want to give it some dimension. We're going to take these off and we're going to put another layer. So I've got two layers of dimensionals on the back of my house. And I'm going to lift up my card and place my house just a little bit off the ground, just a little bit, like this. And I'm gonna use my fingers to attach those dimensionals. So I wanna show you that it's just off the ground, just a little bit, if you guys can see that. And I've left a little bit of this fence line at the end showing our tree and our silicone mat. And we're gonna Place. Oh, I forgot to take this little piece out of my tree. We're going to use the snail and just go down the length of the trunk. Okay. And we're going to place it right behind the house a little bit. Just about like that. And then using our truck going to put some dimensionals on the truck. Now we're only going to do one layer on the truck. And the truck, when you lay it down, it kind of, the way it looks, it, the way the truck looks, if you do it, let me show you on my cards. On this one card here, you can see I've got my truck kind of going up. Looks like he's running over some rocks or something. Then on my second card, no, that's the wrong one. Where's the right one? This one right here. That's the, this is the right one. And then this one, I've got him kind of the tree in the back kind of going up a little bit in the front down a little bit more. It looks more, looks more real. Okay. So we're going to, oh, but you don't put them there after you take your dimensionals off. So I'm just going to kind of curve them down a little bit. So he's just like that. Okay. And then there's your seam. Okay, so we're going to finish the, this side. Take our Merry Christmas and our Merry Christmas that we cut out. Just lay it on top of the red Christmas. Okay. 
And then we're going to use a sponge and some cherry cobbler. And we're going to create a very light, we're going to edge it just with a little light edge. I don't want it too dark. Well, since I put it in that ink, it's going to be okay. I don't want it, I just want it on the edge. Kind of makes it, give the illusion that I've got cardstock behind it. Here, this one, and I'm not using any dimensionals for this because we've got plenty on the house. We'll just lay that at an angle right there, and this gives you room to write your message on. Okay, since we've got our sponge out, go ahead and fix the front here, our other sentiment. our Christmas on top of that one and we're going to edge this as well oh, that one got a little bit heavy-handed right there Denise it's okay we can make this a little bit it's supposed to be rustic right it's festive farmhouse I love this cherry cobbler get that ready oh we forgot about our wreath we need a mini dimensional perfect for this wreath and we're going to place it right here on the little ha the house above the window the big windows like that cute right now let's create the front of our card we're going to take a piece of dsp that is cut at five by three and three quarters and this is the festive farmhouse pack a Whisper White cardstock that is five and a quarter by four. And we're gonna put some adhesive on here. I'm gonna add a bit of adhesive. I'm, I'm used a lot lately. I'm gonna line this up. And we've got a piece of Mossy Meadow and this is cut at half an inch by four inches. Oh no, I guess I didn't trim that. We're gonna trim it with our ribbon. And I'm going to lay this about just a little in. I don't know. Not like that. Then we're going to use our striped burlap trim. And I'm going to just cut about this much off. We can we'll have to trim it a little bit. And using our silicone mat. We're going to use this adhesive. It does work. You just kind of have to press down a little hard, okay? And it will go on there. And we're gonna lay this on top of the mossy window just to the side, leaving a little bit of, so you don't see the line right there. Just lay it down. Then take your paper snips and you're gonna trim it. You got this ready and this part ready to go. Now we're gonna put this inside our card base. Okay, this is the tricky part for me. I'm going to close up my card. Okay. I put that tree down a little bit. That snow, so it's not going to... I'm going to take my adhesive, and I'm going to put it on each one of these little tabs. And on the end, I want to make sure I really get the edges. Okay. We're only going to do one side first. And we're going to lay it inside of our card here. Kind of make sure it's got an even border on front on the sides. Oh. Make sure it's kind of going back a little bit. It kind of butts up against the crease. And I'm going to lift this up and we're going to meet them together. Press a little bit and I'm going to lift up and using my fingers. I'm going to go in each one of those tabs. Okay, I'm going to close my card. I'm going to put the adhesive on this side the same way. On each one of the tabs. This is good. And then going up. All right, and then I'm going to do the same thing. 
put it up against, I'm gonna use my fingers. There we go. And do the same thing. Kind of burnish that in there. All right, there's the inside of our card. All right, let's finish the inside and we'll look at it all at one time. So let's go ahead and put our adhesive on our card front. And I meant to put the card front on first. I don't know why, what I was thinking. I need to put that on first. I'm going to take some dimensionals on this piece. And on this side, on this one, we're only going to, you're going to take your, this front of your sentiment and you're going to turn it over and you don't want to go this side. So we're just going to put two here, kind of in the middle and right here on the edge. <laughs> Throw those out. And then we're going to overlap. Our sentiment's going to overlap our ribbon and card piece, card stock piece down towards there. There we go. And then you've got your card. And then when you open it up, so let me put it like this. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I, I did forget one thing. Within the framelits, there's these, but this is both this, uh, where you can die cut, die cut some bows, six bows. And I've already got some cut and I just noticed I forgot to put those on. So we're going to use our pickup tool. And I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna use some adhesive, some glue. Okay, and I'm gonna put one on the front right here. Give it a little festive flare. And then actually I'm gonna put take another one. I'm only gonna use one because you can't see the whole fence. Whoops. And I'm going to put it on the end right here on this post, just right there. So it kind of gives it another little bit of a flare. I love this little pickup tool. It's got so many cool little tools. All right, now again, we'll pick up, up. and you just got to train it a couple times for it to sit. Look at that. That is so cute. This is how it looks side by side so cute so cute so cute okay guys so don't forget to post your projects over on the facebook group um christmas challenge stampathon 2018 um we're getting close to the end so i will put one of these back for you guys uh, for the second prize winner and um of course the first prize winner i've got your bag almost ready to go i'm gonna get a couple few more little things to put in the um the, the prize package but just about, and we only got what, one more challenge in October, and then we announced the winner in um, November, the November 25th. So head on over there. I'll leave a link and everything down below, and all the measurements, again, will be on my blog post. Sorry for it's such a long blog po uh, video, but again, it's, you know, that's Denise. <laughs> it's Ladybug. All right, guys, talk to you later. Toodles.